And really today is all about just doing live consultations. So that's what I'm here to help people do, is do things in the correct order. Check this out. You have to get knowledge at the highest level so that way you don't have to work as hard. Do what you do the best and delegate the rest. That's it. Figure out something that the market needs, create that, that's it. Get around other people who are smarter than you. And the beauty about learning from other people is that they tend to want to help you when you're eager to learn. That's the kicker. Most people say this thing of like, it's me against the world. And I'm like, no, it's you against you. But it's not your fault. It's because of the programming, or just the, the, the glamorizing of the business that most people don't actually learn the business. They don't learn, they don't learn the, how hard everyone actually is working in this thing. The music industry is very simple, and if you could understand the simple concepts around it, whew, your life gets so much easier. And then more importantly, you, you actually get to enjoy what you're doing. It's uplifting the music community, where I think the old mentality was like, make so many millions of dollars and be famous so that way you're the only person on top. And I think that's just the bad way to look at the business. And because of that, you're holding yourself actually back. So it's like there's these two sides. You have this driven, ego, insecure, trying to fit a mold, not really researching your career, not really competing at the highest level, and you're putting that in the forefront and trying to burst through an industry of just real ass talented people who don't play. This thing will never last in a ring. But then you have someone who goes, what's the real job at hand? And I'm like, you gotta make amazing music. You gotta build a strong network. You gotta learn how to save and invest your money. That's pretty much about it. Everything else is like a sub division of it. But those are like the main things. If you have your own recording studio at home, you're instantly worth more value in an industry where you don't have any right now. Stop lying to yourself. The music business is simple. High quality music. So learn how to record from home. But if you're going to do it, it's different if can you do it. It's like if you're going to do it, it's completely different from can you do it. Everyone can do it. But not everyone's doing it, which is weird to me. So the reason why I tell everyone this is because I just think there's so many people out there who are crazy talented, but they're doing things in the wrong order. It's not your fault. It's the fact that the only information that you really have on how this industry works comes from movies. And that's the only thing most people have seen. And even if they went to music college, you weren't taught by someone who was a master. You were taught by someone who was teaching other people. But you weren't taught by someone who's had tons of hits and tons of soundtrack placements and networks. Like you're not usually taught by those people out of college. All right, so let me just do this wrap up real quick. Let me give you a trick. And this is what all the men, all the members in our group have to do this when they sign up. So I'll just tell you what we do. We have a master list, and on this master list, it's an Excel sheet. And on the Excel sheet, it has a couple columns. The first column is the name of the song. So you pick the top 10 songs of the last three years that you love, that you go, I wish I wrote that song. Then you write the BPM, you write the key, then you write the chord progressions of the song. So, it, and we do it in number form, right? Then you write down how many times the title was used in the song. Then you write down the three emotions that the writer was trying to make the listener feel. If you just do that, you're gonna get so much information. Also, power of threes. How many power of threes are in the song? And so power of threes are when a melody or a part is repeated three times in a row. If you start to count how many powers of three are happening in a song, you're gonna be shocked. All hit songs have a formula. If you don't know the formula, you are working way too hard right now. All right, that being said, I'm opening up for live consultations. So if somebody wants to come on live stream and you have some things about your career, I will spend five, 10 minutes with you, helping you in any direction that you wanna go. And uh, in that, hopefully it'll help other people who are watching um, the channel as well right now. Yay. What's up, CQ? So I have some other music here that's unreleased. This music that I've been making is, it's an EP and it's instrumental music. Okay. And it's called Beach Cafe. And it's just like a vibe of kind of like something that you might hear at a beach cafe. Can you send and me a track real quick? So as, let me ask some questions about why that's loading up. When you look at your business, is music something that you focused on like a business to where you can make 
you know, uh, you have like your income of people who are hiring you and then you also are doing songs that you're trying to get for placements. Do you have like an organized system with that? <laughs> I don't, I don't necessarily know exactly what the system will look like. I've been trying to follow your advice and okay. send the songs that I'm working on to the people that I know. And so you let's, know. let's stop there. So how many, how many vocalists do you have around you that are dope vocalists? That has been challenging. I probably have like maybe two or three people that I could, you know, work with and okay. whether or not that, you know, it moves at the speed of one week or not, that's, you know, okay. Like, so that's I wouldn't say I have a guarantee for that. You know what I mean? So why do you think they wouldn't be able to get it done in a week? I don't know. I mean, okay. obviously there's like the, the obvious way to think about it that it's like, you know, maybe, maybe whatever I'm sending to them is not good enough or maybe they're just focused on other things or, you know, it's a, culmination of all of it or okay so this knows. is great so so let's go through what you just said maybe what i sent wasn't good enough you didn't say maybe what i sent they don't like so that means there's something about that you're saying to yourself that you got to keep working so you get your tracks that are good enough in a competitive space and you feel like there's probably more room to grow in that element yeah okay so just one other question is are you taking courses with anyone or working with any mentors to show you how to make that gap go from here to here well, the only thing is that, like, I'm not necessarily paying those situations to be, like, at Icon or at, at Berkeley. I'm kind of like somebody else that I know is paying for it. And I'm kind of like, you know, the yeah. same way that I that I sign on to your lives and listen to the free live, you know, advice that you give. But necessarily, I, I haven't been able to invest in the 500 Club. This makes sense. So would you say that in your life that you, when you want to do something like this, do you usually go right to the people who can do it and learn from them so you can do it fast at a mastership level? Or do you tend to take time to do those things and like study a whole bunch of things and try to, over, try to do it as free as possible, as low as income, as long, like spending money as you have to, just what you have to do to get by. But are you like, I'm going to have to do that. I don't mind if I'm paying that money because it's going to be quicker. Like which one do you usually choose? Because everyone does something different. Like a workshop? specifically like let me tell you this right i was the same way like you i was so used to getting things for free yeah i realized that there's ways to get things for free until i was around mentors it yeah was so small but my mindset of i'll figure it out for my friends i'll eventually get around to it I'll do, 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 do. i know some people that's how my mind was you're not thinking like a real investor if we're looking at business as business and not just you know things that we want but like business Everything that I invest in, I go, what am I going to get out in five years? Because as long as it's picking compound interest, which means better than I was yesterday, in five years, will this be worth it? So as I start to learn the art of investment, th this is how simple the music business is. And I'll break it into three, three corners. Look at your network. If you look around and you don't have 10 people that you can call on the phone who are getting credits on their own, you're around the wrong people. Something is going to fail, period. So when you get 10 people who are all driven and this is the only thing they want to do, then all of a sudden it's, it's a lot easier to sail the ship. Man, if you just cultivate that and you look at your music like this is a product of me. Yeah, definitely. I send you those songs if you want to, if you want to check them out. Pick I would on. play Saturday morning, I'd say. Ooh. Okay, so like this stuff is cool. It's got a vibe to it, right? Yeah. So let's say you looked at like a business and let me help you kind of look at a perspective that I would consult you on, right? Okay. So let's say you did, how long does it take you to make one of these tracks? So like a little bit more than, so 10 days each. Yeah. So the professional world, that is way too long. That's long, yeah. Dude, you should be able to make this stuff in less than six hours. I mean, getting the elements was exactly like you're talking about. But, you know, because I'm still like, figuring out all of the mixing kind of stuff, you know, I probably had 20 mixes of each one of those songs over a period of time. Okay, so let's look at this. I just said you probably should invest in a mixing course. Correct. That means you should be taking a course like tomorrow because all the time you're wasting with mixing, you're wasting your life. Appreciate you, bro. All right, brother. You too, man. Thanks Talk again, soon. man. All right, bro. Yeah. Later. So hopefully you take those three things. Your network your quality music, 
and business. If you study these three categories, you'll be fine.